So, Total War Arena is back. Well, kind of. Creative Assembly have sold their soul for a second time, and now the game is only available in China. However, with some help from the awesome Sons of Zeus Clan, I have managed to go ahead and get the game working, so I can bring you guys some of the changes and just have some fun. This is a game I absolutely love, and uh, yeah, you know, I always just want to you know play it and enjoy it. I know a lot of you guys subscribe to me for Total War Arena stuff. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to be you know playing this every single day uploading it every single day i'm gonna take a very much a chilled approach if there's any like major major changes to the game i'll probably go ahead and make a video on it but for the most part it's gonna be kind of something i play very much in my own time and maybe stream now and again on the channel so i thought you know that'd just be kind of cool to make a video on the beta letting you guys know that there is uh, a way to get into it and stuff like that again i'll leave a tutorial video by a few people down below in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself and then once again again with the help of the sons of zeus clan i've managed to get the game in english and stuff so yeah you know it's really good the only downside is kind of a ping but it's honestly not that bad like you can play with it you can move on with it and uh continue just to move on so there have been a few changes in the game honestly i was kind of surprised that there were more changes made to it like there's no chinese commanders or anything and i thought that would be kind of a, a pretty major selling point of the game but i guess that's just not uh kind of you know what they want to do with it so i i assume that'll probably come in the future this is just a beta i guess for the seventh beta of total war arena if you will so there are a few changes that they have added and again a lot of these changes are really really positive um i think for the most part all the units and everything are the same the commanders have a little bit of a difference uh to them whereas now you don't actually uh just level up everything you have kind of every single time your commander levels up you have a set amount of points you can then stick it into your units which again is, is a nice small change i like it that you kind of don't have to spend hundreds of resources, uh, you know, literally, you know, hundreds of games to go ahead and get the level 10 abilities. It's just kind of like you design your own tree, which I think is really cool. Um, as well as that, there's uh, a few minor things to like unlocking commanders and stuff. But again, nothing really worth our time. Like, you get these trial coins, which I think is quite cool. Um, but again, that's such a small difference uh, to the game, but it doesn't really matter. I believe leveling up is pretty much the same. I played two games and unlocked tier three. So it seems like it's fairly quick. Um, but again, I don't know how it's going to be in the later games. The biggest new thing in Total War Arena for the China release is going to be the... Uh the new game mode. There is a pretty big MOBA new game mode in the uh, in the battles now, and I really really like it. I've only played, as I said, like two games with the MOBA release uh, or of the new game mode, but I think it, it goes ahead and makes a big difference to how the game is played. Uh, we'll see it in a second, but basically now uh, there are capture points on the map. Uh, instead of just having two bases either side of the battlefield, there are now, I believe, your, your bases, obviously, and then there's two points that kind of spawn off of your base, a middle point, and then two on the enemy side. And basically, your objective is to take these positions. And when you do take these positions, uh, so say, for example, we take a middle position, that will go ahead and lead you to have a respawn point. So you can actually respawn units now in the game. So it's not just kind of like a, I loaded into the game, I've lost all my units, it's over. You have the ability to respawn your units and you have the ability to replenish your units by going back to these capture points, which again, I think is a really, really interesting idea for the game. It's probably best if we just load into the game and I'll show you guys. So I'll bring it to you guys when we've, when we've got into a match and we are playing. Okay, so we are now in on Capitoline Hill and Raring to go. So as you can see, there are now points on the on the map, and we are playing cavalry. So let's just spawn like somewhere back here. Probably would be a good idea. Um, so yeah, there are now three capture points on the map. There's uh, E. We have one down here, which I think is C. A center point. Actually, no, I don't even know what that is. D, uh, C, A, and uh, B. And obviously, the objective is to capture these points and to push back the enemy. So say, for example, we take the B position, that will give us a, uh, a place to go ahead and uh, respawn our units. So we'll kind of take away the enemy's replenishment point, which is this right here, and we'll get our own one a little bit further back where we can spawn units, we can replenish our armies and do a lot more with that. So that's a really, really nice addition to the game, I think. I think it makes the, the game actually flow a lot nicer and, uh, and push on. For some reason, uh, obviously, you know, this is a little bit laggy. This is, uh, it seems like at the beginning of the game, it takes a little while for your troops to fully, like, 
you know, process your orders. But as the game gets on, it is a lot quicker, and we'll have to see how it does, uh, how it does function. So you can see that the units do go on pretty nicely. Let's just go ahead and uh, select two units and go on, and it's basically, you know, the same old classic Total War Arena uh, we know. Oh, there's Hell Sun Tzu over there as well. There's uh, a bunch of people that I, I know from the battles uh, and from playing. And honestly, the gameplay does feel pretty good. You know, if we see without the lag and stuff, it, it would be better, but. Uh, it's all good, you know, especially when for the majority of the time you don't really have to worry too much um, about the lag itself. You know, you can just kind of uh, move on with it and, and not really uh, worry too much. So it just seems like they're going to try and back cap us back here. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'll leave some links in the description down below for you guys to check it out for yourself. Um, if you want to go ahead and... Um, and mess around with it and uh, get into the beta yourself and, and kind of really, uh, you know, get to grips with Arena. We've got some fun stuff going on here as we uh, battle back and, back and forth. With a lag, it can be a bit dangerous. Uh, it does seem like I did manage to collide with him, though, uh, at least there, which is good. Yeah, with the, with the lag, it can be uh, pretty brutal. Uh, play, probably playing cavalry isn't my best bet, but it does seem like we do get a nice rear charge there into his ranks and demolish that unit. I mean, I think it's a really nice addition that when you do lose your units, you don't actually, um, you don't actually kind of, not, you're not just out the game. You still have that ability to respawn. You have that ability to to go back to base, and it, yeah, it does it does aid some really really great stuff. I think. Uh, if I can, I'll all try and uh, lock him in place there. Seems like we are a bit slow, and we'll push on. And you do have this capture point up the top as well. It slowly builds up. Obviously, the more points you have, the uh, the more that will go up, and and you'll kind of uh, benefit a lot more from that. We don't have an anvil left on any of these guys, and he is playing Barbarian Cavalry, so he is probably going to get off. But we do have a charge. We might be able to run him down a little bit, obviously. I, and the nice thing is as well, because I'm playing so close to my base, I can just quickly go back here and replenish my own stuff as well. Um, I'm going to pursue him, though. He's obviously going to be faster than me, but I do have my uh, Cavalry Dash as well, which does speed me up, and maybe my charge can get on him. So I'll, I'll put this unit back. Uh, yeah, you guys continue to push. I mean, this one just comes back and heals. And you'll see after, you know, 10 seconds or so, this unit will get back up to full strength. So it's kind of like Defender's Advantage. Um, and it's kind of, again, more of a MOBA-style gameplay. Uh, I think it's a, a great addition to the game. Um, I think it does kind of uh, have a better feel to it. Um, and it is more enjoyable. Let's continue to move up here. Again, this is a pretty scary because I know Helzonzu is, is an amazing player. So he's obviously going to be working with a team and... Uh, yeah, doing some pretty gnarly damage. But let's try and just get a charge in there. Um, it means you can be a lot more risky as well. Oh, we did not benefit there. So let's just pop around and get out of there. Let our cavalry get up to full strength. And we'll probably push down here again. Uh, so let's just pull back. We did pop our, our anvil, so they should be extremely slow and pretty vulnerable as well. Let's continue just to go down here. Um, again, we have some cavalry coming up. You guys can come back and replenish. I'm not looking forward to this left flank. Uh, I think we're going to get quite easily overrun there. Um, but we can be pretty, you know, aggressive for the most part. Um, I mean, oh god, yeah, he completely caught me off guard there. Let's just engage that. Pop our anvil so we can't do anything. And try and maybe get around here to try and, and deal with the, um, with the javelins up there. Yeah, we are getting slaughtered there. So let's just kind of try and act as a little bit of cover there. Luckily, we are pretty hidden in the forest. So we should really be able to see me before. We need to still be very, very careful. Get this unit back to replenish and get the other unit up there as well. Uh, probably not going to be able to catch on to this unit. That's fine. And just continue to fall back. It does seem like our point is breaking down. So maybe it's just a good idea to try our best to uh, maybe just try and push the center or something. Try and get a nice charge off there. I need to kind of commit to this if I have. Because he's going to try and turn on me. We can pop our anvil. That should have stopped down the majority of the da danger there as well. We've got some more units replenishing. We obviously need to be very careful up there. And this, this flank is uh, is going to be going down pretty soon. So I want to try and replenish and fall back. There's not really much we can do here. So let's just try and get our replenishment as best as we can. And uh, yeah, just, just abandon this flank basically. Because the flank is is very much gone at this point. Actually, you guys stay there. Uh, but yeah, as I said, like, you know, obviously it'd be nicer if I didn't have 180 ping. But it's, it's really not that bad. Like, I can still play. I can still outclass noobs. Probably not the best thing to be doing is to be playing uh, with, uh, with, um, with cavalry. Probably not the best idea because cavalry obviously is, uh, yeah, it can be pretty, uh, pretty micro-intensive. Let's pop our anvil because it does give some good debuff. But because it's in English and stuff, honestly, absolutely fine. Uh, so you can see, they've captured our point right here. So they can now replenish units and respawn 
at this point right here in the center. So by taking this point, it's going to be a huge advantage to them and give them a real, real nice boost. Uh, we need to be very careful here. Do we have an anvil left on any of our units? Oh, you guys lost it. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just try and run through here. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to catch anyone, but that's fine. We've got some more cavalry. We should be able to overrun the cavalry here, honestly. We have infantry coming in here. I'm going to try my best to blockade his retreat as best as I can. So I'm going to commit one unit in. Oh, this is so bad, like, with, uh, with the lag and stuff. We'll commit one unit in there. Oh, it's a beautiful charge there. Um, and then the rest of our guys here. We've taken out a large amount of these guys. And then if I come around here as well, hopefully I can move in try and catch the rest we can anvil most of these guys i think so let's anvil them and then bring this cavalry round as well to deal with his last unit right there and we'll anvil there as well so these guys should be stocking and i, I should have the uh, rest of the units now as well kind of a bit of a delayed charge but it's fine i'm gonna lose my cavalry uh but it's probably worth it right to kill these javelins even though they can just replenish it so it's not really worth it but it does add a pretty interesting dynamic to the battle so i'm probably gonna have to go back to base now to, to heal um so this unit has died now i think you have to lose everything in your army um or just go back to the capture point and if you go back to the healing points then you do just get your entire army back uh so we'll commit to this i mean again they can just heal at this point right here so it probably wasn't worth committing to to that but it's interesting it's an interesting style of play um, but yeah, right now, actually nice. We've actually managed to capture oh, at least one unit's ninja capping A, which is uh, I think I love to see. I love a good old ninja cap indeed. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, what you think of the game. Um, this new game mode is fun. Obviously, <laughs> you know, I was kind of expecting maybe a little bit more for the Chinese market. You know, just like having Lu Bu and, and Sao Sao and stuff in the game. Uh, as it has been, you know, dead for over a year now, right? Because it closed down in, in February last year, so... I was maybe expecting a little bit more uh, from the Chinese release, but you know, again, it's Total War Arena. It's it's like it's been you know kind of in beta for the past eight years. It's uh, a little bit weird. You know, obviously, we don't really have uh, a large budget or anything anymore. Uh, or maybe they never did have a large budget. Honestly, who knows? Um, but either way, let's just continue playing. Indeed. So yeah, we got our cavalry back. We've respawned, um, so we can continue to get into the fight. And, and push on. It seems like they're going very hard on this left flank, which is obviously to be expected considering they've taken this point. So they're going to be respawning here and uh, getting more units up. So uh, let's push our units into the center. Again, we'll help out in this fight that's going on and we'll send this unit kind of maybe maybe up on this capture point. We'll get the, the flag, get some vision, get our cavalry up there. And can you go on? As you can see, like there's been a little bit of, uh, you know, delay like this units, uh, you know, every so often you will get that unit of kind of, it's been a little bit slow to pump off or we can we can save this unit yeah i'd much rather save the artillery uh then not and we still have a unit if i can catch these guys and anvil them that'd be huge doesn't seem like we're going to though so let's just pull back there and continue to scare them off we're, just, we're gonna capture sivo which is gonna be great taking away their capture point uh, i don't have my charge back for a little while nice so we've taken away their their point right there um, and it also does lead to the base as well. If you take any of these points, you can... If I take B, A, or C, we can now go cap their base if we wanted to as well. So I'm just going to sit back, kind of defend this artillery a little bit. I think what they're going to do is they're going to try and come around here. Uh, so I'm going to set myself up just to kind of just defend this artillery. We'll continue to capture C uh, to push back the enemy. And if they want to go, oh, this could be kind of nice. Nice. Got a beautiful charge in there. So I'm going to amble them, bring around my other units, and just try and uh, overrun them. So get these guys up there. You guys can move in. They should be anviled, so I should have them in place. I'm obviously going to be losing that fight. Let's speed up our cavalry. Uh, I'm going to try and just kind of come around the side. I don't know how long level 1 anvil lasts for. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, long enough or if I'm going to get absolutely smashed here. But I basically just... Oh, there's archers up here as well. Hello. I don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll catch these archers and we'll bring them down. We'll amble them in place. We'll go after these archers as well. And we have that other unit as well. He does still have his amble left, which is perfect. So we should be slaughtering these guys. Um, again, I can't really do much about this unit right here. Oh, we actually have our charge back as well. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, so yeah, sometimes you just kind of don't have your charge. Uh, you know, and it's just a little bit too delayed. But I'm sure it's getting used to it. I know a load of really good players uh, who did play with like a huge amount of ping in the uh, in the in the English one, like who played from Japan and stuff. So uh, you know, it definitely is playable. Um, oh, there is a piece of juicy artillery down there. So let's move around. 
currently pretty decent right now uh, when it comes to our stats right there. Uh, and we can just replenish right here. So it's so nice. We can just go back, get right back into the game with all of our units. Um, I think this is going to really, really be nice for cavalry um, and infantry. Infantry is going to be able to like fight on the front lines and still just get stuck in. Um, we can also capture the city center if we wanted to, but there's a lot of points right there. Uh, screw it. Let's try and put some pressure on them. We should get this unit back in a second, in like 10 seconds. Oh, god, yeah. He he knows. Heart, Heart Mina is uh, yeah, definitely uh, doing some... Uh, he definitely has my number this game. But that's fine. Yeah, because we can just replenish units so easily. It's not really a, a big issue. Uh, yeah, let's just try and capture a little bit. We are capturing A. As, or they're capturing A back, I think. Let's go up and help A. Because that will give us some points in the top as well. You can see that we're slowly gaining points. Uh, let's see if we can get our unit back as well. Uh, but just going back to the capture point. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and help up here. Let's try and take A and put the pressure on that side. Because it seems like we've managed to take back C. Uh, but you can already see the games do go on for a decent amount of time, right? How long have we been... Uh, I've been recording for about 16 minutes now. And the game is still uh, going on. Obviously, any capture points can just uh, happen. But still, pretty nice stuff. Let's go and yeah, capture that. Got our unit back, which is great. Send a unit there. Send a unit there. Might be able to catch, uh, catch, him, catch him a little bit off guard. Oh, you can also see as well, units do gain experience as well over time. Um, come on. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, no, you can't use your abilities. Why? Why can you? Was it one of his abilities? I honestly don't even know. Uh, you can use your abilities now, though. Uh, we've anviled him, which is nice. So I should be able to come in and probably finish him off. Again, we're capturing that, which is great. And we should slaughter that. So you can see units do gain experience over time as well. Uh, slowly, uh, they gain of this up, and it gives them some pretty nice bonuses. So again, that's a, that's a nice little change they have added to the game. Uh, again, we're going to have to pull out of there. We have taken A now, so let's just push on to their, po on to their uh, final point. Why not? Uh, let's just fall back and uh, keep on replenishing. I feel like this replenishment could be quite easily abused, though. Um, there should definitely be like a cooldown. I think of like when you're allowed to replenish your units. Obviously, if the enemy are attacking you, but you could definitely form up a, a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice blob and just like kind of push back the enemy, um, and just kind of like I guess you know, just like keep on abusing that. I feel like that's kind of quite easily abusable. We'll have to see how it does play out though over time. But yeah, I really love the, the chevrons. I love the game mode. Um, it's pretty interesting. Oh, it seems like they've got an AI defending as well. There, that's fine. We'll can just continue to push up here and maybe try and help out over there. Uh, we do need to probably pull out of this and try and replenish somewhere else because, uh, you know, Heart is not letting me do it one bit. We have some cavalry up here again. We'll just kind of keep on moving around. Uh, and probably look to try and hit these guys. Maybe go after these javelins as well. My cavalry is going to escape perfectly. Because, for, for example, if I was to lose both of these horses, I wouldn't have been able to replenish them unless this unit died or this unit went ahead and uh, replenished itself uh, to get the units back. So it would have made an interesting decision for me to have to quickly go back. So let's just quickly pop our anvil over on this unit to keep these guys in place, and that should see them dead. Obviously, we're going to pull out of that so that we don't get killed by uh, Dan's uh, missiles. And I assume there's probably going to be cavalry coming out of these woods pretty in a second. Uh, nice, both our horses are back, so let's get them back into the fight. Uh, so yeah, the pace of the game is feeling good. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about streaming the game as well. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know in the comments. Oh, some juicy artillery. I've seen some funny things as well in my cu couple games. Uh, like we are pushing on one of the objectives. And then all of a sudden, like 10, literally 10 units spawned, I guess, at their back point right here. It was uh, yeah, pretty hilarious to, to see uh, as they uh, come down. Uh, we have to be kind of safe here. Um, but... Yeah, we can we'll be fine. Yeah, just like that, like that's kind of come out of nowhere and and uh, like just kind of hit you uh, pretty heavily. Seems like we're doing a pretty good job though. We've got a lot of the capture points. I need to want to try and contest this as best as I can because it is giving us some juicy points. Nice, we managed to capture that. So let's get out of there. Continue to move on. Uh, yeah, as I said, I do want to stop them from taking this from us, so I'm going to contend it. Um, and even if I have to commit to it, it's, it's absolutely fine. Obviously, we don't really want to, but what we can do is anvil them. Come in the back there. I'm like losing this unit a little bit. And we can come round and just hit this unit. Because by taking this, we're still capturing a lot more points. We're getting four tickets per second against them. And we might even be able to break them there as well. So let's come around, maybe try and hit these javelins. God, you never lose it, right? You never lose it. And we'll amble them again. Nice. We managed to route one of them, which is perfect. We should slaughter them now. Keep this C under our control. Um, again, you can see there's a, some little things right there to be expected, though. Always some juicy, friendly fire to be had as well. Uh, let's fall back there. 
And we should actually be able to replenish up here. Yeah, right? Yeah, we can replenish. Where can we? we can replenish back here. Okay. Interesting. Either way, I want to probably come around and try and hit this. Um, get one of the units out and then over there if I can help it. Oh, the delay. The delay, man. Sometimes. I know there are some programs as well which actually do add uh, quite a lot to... Um, uh, to your pinging and kind of make it a little bit smoother. So I might have to try and check some of them out. Okay, I'm just going to avoid this cavalry, maybe try and take this point uh, just to get a nice little vision. But it seems like, you know, things are going pretty well for the team. It's looking pretty positive. We've got a pretty big push on this left flank again, but we are pushing on their base. But we don't really have that much. Okay, let's just replenish. Um, probably go back here and replenish. Nice. We've got someone else, more spears up there. Get these guys back up and running. How are we doing team wise? Nice. Pretty good. Got some good damage off on there. Got some good capture points. I think we're going to need to probably come and help out over here. Um, because it seems like where they're really, really pushing. Um, not, doesn't look like we're going to be able to capture their base. But we're getting six tickets per second. So, uh, yeah. If they don't capture points quickly, it's going to definitely go in our favor. So, again, I like that. I like the ticket system as well. Because it's not like you have to just go ahead and... Uh, did I forget to replenish this unit? I guess. Uh, it's not like you have to just capture their base. And it's like a constant slog to their base. If you just hold more of the objectives... You slowly do come out on top as well, uh, which is nice. Uh, this is going to be pretty much impossible to go ahead and get him because he's going to have a unit of infantry with him. Um, and yeah, he's going to dash his men out of there. So it's not really much we could do. Uh, but again, just having this presence of our men here is, is fine. And nice, we got these guys back as well. So let's maybe try and sneak around. They are trying to capture sea back as well. They need to capture something back soon because if they don't, uh, things are going to be looking pretty bad for them. Yeah, they're, capture, they're trying to capture back the majority of these positions. And I am playing a very dangerous game right now because I've got all of my cavalry uh, in all these different um, units. So I'm going to miss micro somewhere. But I want to try and kill this artillery. Let's just pull back from here. We're not going to be able to micro this. We're getting shot by missiles. Let's just try and dive into the woods. Uh, we'll be able to kill this artillery though, which is great. Always love being able to see artillery uh, just line up for me perfectly and then getting beautiful charges up into them still feels just as good as the first time i did it and we'll just fall back probably at this point oh yeah we'll just just kind of retreat back we are slowly winning on points let's kill them we can probably still hold this point as well keep this point under our control oh connection lost a little bit so yeah this this has only happened to me i think one game out of my four um so hopefully it will sort itself out uh, I'm not sure if there's something I can do to avoid this from happening, uh, but it seems pretty pretty clean for the most part I and mean, just kind of sinks you back up with a battle. Um, yeah, again, one in four battles. If that's kind of the case, I'm fine with that. Oh god, we are so dead here. We can at least amble these guys in place. We're going to lose our, our side point, boy. Not a bad game, though, so far. Very back and forth. Obviously been playing some very, very, very good players, so... It does seem like they're going to be going for our base, though. Is there a way for me to, like, ping? What is a ping? FT? I, how do I ping? F1? No, F1's the controls. <laughs> God, I can ping. As, uh, okay, we need to bring everything back, then. Uh, ideally, I'd love to, love to be able to replenish. But we need to bring everything back. We're winning on points. And we just need to deal with this. The javelins are going to be brutal. Um, so let's just try and get everything back if we can. Obviously, it'd be ideal to, like, replenish some of my units, but it's fine. You can see this guy is um, currently a very, very high... Oh, I managed to catch... No, I missed it. I messed it up. Okay, well, we can still amble him in place, though, which is good. Um, that will do some good damage. We're getting this unit back. Ideally, I want to replenish my cavalry here and then go in. So let's try and do that. We're going to obviously lose this, but we've managed to kind of pin him down a little bit, so that's fine. Also, you can't capture the points right away immediately either. Oh, we've got some stuff in their base. No, they're going to be holding that pretty nicely. Um, so let's just move in. Maybe go after these archers with that. Ideally, I'm just coming back here to replenish if I can help it. I don't really want to have to fight anyone. And if we can, we could just try and capture as well. We're going to drop some cow chops there, which is fine. Let's just maybe try it. No, we're not going to be able to capture either. Okay, nice. We managed to push them back a little bit off this objective, which is great. Try and get my other units back uh, to keep up the pressure. And as I said, we are slowly winning. So I feel like the game definitely does feel more like a MOBA. does feel a lot more competitive uh, than, it, than it did. I still think maybe having less, less players on the battle would be nice. Got my charge didn't go off. 
That's going to be annoying. Maybe I'm just going to stick with infantry and the beta um, instead of instead of uh, cavalry because yeah, it's uh, it's pretty brutal having to play cavalry. It really, really is. But nice, we managed to push them back. It seems like we are uh, getting very close to winning. Got all these archers coming in as well. It's going to be uh, pretty brutal here for this unit if they can track them down. Let's try and get some charges in. The game is basically over. So let's just try and stick some extra points off. Uh, we should have this guy coming in as well. We'll amble them. And we should just be able to break this unit. I'm hoping. Uh, probably pull out of there now. Oh, but somehow this unit is my lone horseman. A lone horseman. Bring him down. We can actually amble this unit and make it a lot slower, which is kind of hilarious. Literally could just set this up. Yeah, and he's, he's ambled right now, which is kind of funny. So he's actually a little bit stuck there. We are pushing him back quite nicely. Perfect. Well, there you go, guys. That's going to basically be the game. We've got about 100 points left to get. We are getting two. So are they, but we obviously have the advantage. Um, and uh, yeah, nice. I mean, like I'm, loving, I'm loving the updates. I'm loving the addition. It's a shame that it's China locked. Um, but, you know, obviously, you know, I guess... You know, they're obviously, uh, you know, paying a lot of money probably for this. Probably no fish not even paying that much money for, the, for this game. It's like the game would be dead or we could just sell it to China. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's a very, very funny, funny situation with Total War Arena. It really is. The, the million games it's been in beta and nice. victory is ours. We managed to take back down. So yeah, overall, game pacing's great. New battles are, you know, the new battle kind of game system is pretty fun with the replenishment and stuff. It keeps the game active and, and, and interesting. Allows a lot more strategy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of all of that stuff. Uh, it would be very interesting to see if they are planning on adding in Chinese and, and how Chinese units and stuff and how long that's going to take because I think that's probably pretty important for the game to be successful in China. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I might stream this later. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And fish out.